Alrighty, I was at Canada's Wonderland today, July 27th, filming all day, getting you some awesome tips and tricks on how to have a good visit despite the massive crowds at Canada's Wonderland. I'm going to provide you with everything I know. I was looking everywhere, trying to figure out an absolute game plan for anyone that is experiencing long lines at the food and beverage places because that seems to be the area of concern for most people but the giveaway so winner number one is spida um you are active in our discord server as well in the canada's wonderland general you are winner number one nini uh, you are winner number two, so um, you uh, have access to a Squishmallow, so definitely reach out on Instagram, by the way, for any of these winners. And Nicole W., you are the winner of our merch giveaway. So all three of you, if you could reach out to us on Amusement Insiders on Instagram, plural, um, and message us that uh, proof that these are your uh, YouTube accounts. Um, I know two of you from our Discord server. Um, so reach out to us on Instagram with proof that this is you and the prize is yours. Um, and thank you so much for sharing uh, our giveaway video and getting the message out there about Canada's Wonderland being an extremely safe place. So nonetheless, let's get right into the video. Canada's Wonderland um, right now has a couple rides that are closed. One of them mainly on the screen right now is Sledgehammer. Um, they are currently getting it ready to open. Canada's Wonderland has what one would assume, like any other place in North America right now, a staffing issue. A lot of people were hesitant to go back to work, and it seems to be resolving itself. You can definitely tell that there are a lot more employees at Canada's Wonderland now, and they're starting to get the rides ready to open. I fully expect Sledgehammer to open shortly in the next week max i expect wonder mountains guardian to open up in the next two weeks max and uh riptide has opened and that was recently closed and i definitely do expect um boo blasters to open up as well in the next two weeks maybe even sooner so definitely expect those rides to open um other good news winterfest and howling haunt should be taking place they have started hiring um and winterfest people have been called back so definitely a good sign a very good sign i'm super excited about the winterfest but i'm very biased there but nonetheless you are at canada's wonderland and you are experiencing long lines i'll start with the rides you uh, are at Wonderland between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., and the ride lineups are long. My biggest piece of advice is the Yukon Striker single rider line. We tested it out today. We literally put it to the test. That line was full, okay? Extremely full. Full as full could possibly be. And the person we put in the single rider line got through it in about 15 minutes max. So much better than an hour and a half wait in the regular queue so if you don't mind splitting up from your group not all, you also could get in with a group of two or three possibly in the single rider line but it's not guaranteed um but definitely uh, as a single rider or even if you just want to go as a group to get on the ride if you don't mind being split up the single rider line is the way to go um if that's not the case there are flat rides like um shockwave that have a shorter line there's roller coasters like Dragonfire that don't have a full line um but the best time to go is show up right at 10 a.m okay show up right at 10 a.m 10 a.m to like 12 p.m most rides are walk-ons so get there right at 10 a.m maybe even 9 a.m so you're like got your which direction you want to go and if you go towards yukon and behemoth instead of leviathan like everyone else you will get on like everything in the yukon behemoth area so quickly you'll be shocked so definitely hit up that side of the park and then quickly scoot on over before 12 p.m over to the leviathan area and get as much done over there as possible and then the crowds do start to die after 5 p.m as well so definitely if that's the case plan your day like that that's my best advice i can give you on top of that, reservation times are no longer a thing. I'm sure you all got the email. So you just make a reservation for the day and you can show up anytime. Um, that was technically always the case. Um, it didn't actually show your reservation time on the system when you went to check into the park. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, as you can see on the screen that you just saw, the food lineups and the drink lineups are absolutely insane at Canada's Wonderland. It is not the staff's fault. So if any of you are watching this video, please do not scream at the staff because you waited an hour for your food or drinks. It's not their fault. Um, it is literally a, a staffing issue like every restaurant and business is facing in North America. And Wonderland is definitely improving each visit I go. In fact... 
you are most likely probably going to the only restaurant you see in your vicinity instead of shopping around for other restaurants. In fact, in this video, all the footage in this video is from today, July 27th at Canada's Wonderland. No editing, <laughs> no date manufacturing. I haven't put footage from a different date. There are restaurants that had zero lines at the park i.e. right here. Sometimes this restaurant is a full queue and it's gonna take you an hour to get your food at that restaurant, but other times in the day, it's not full. Everyone at Wonderland seems to want to eat around the same time, and that's one of the biggest problems that Wonderland faces in terms of getting food out. I also do expect fully that Wonderland should be receiving a restaurant in 2022 as well. Another piece of advice, bring water bottles, a reusable water bottle. They have water bottle refill stations and um, it is needed in this new extreme heat that we are facing and it saves you a lot of money. Water bottle prices at Canada's Wonderland, everyone knows it's a, pretty, it's a bit pricey. It's like $6.23 after tax. So definitely bring your own water bottle. Wonderland lets you bring in a reusable water bottle and you can fill them up at the stations. Are really great for families if you need to save a few bucks and you don't wanna buy the $6 water bottles. I don't think anyone does, but if you don't wanna buy them, Definitely Wonderland is allowing you to bring in your own water bottles and they got water bottle refill stations. Here's another example. Um, this was filmed around 12 p.m. and the drink stations closed. Um, and the mess hall isn't too busy of a line, people going there for both drinks and stuff. But then we came back around 1 to 2 p.m. and the drink station was open up and the lines are a lot shorter. The mess hall serves poutines right there on the left. There are places in Canada's Wonderland that you do not have to wait an hour or 30 minutes even to get your food. You can get it right away. Just shop around. If you also want to adventure out, if you happen to not have kids, the Kidsville does have shorter lines for food. Um, I personally don't like going into Kidsville to get food because it's for families and I don't like getting in the way of them. There are places in the adult park for us to get our food that don't have long lines. I just wanted to show that. Seating to eat your food. It is a big problem. Again, not their fault. They're limited to 50% capacity for tables. Their tables are stored beside Behemoth. I'm sure you all have seen it riding Behemoth. There's lots of tables there. But there are places you can eat. In fact, I'm going to show you two in this video. There's this really, really, really well-shaded area. Super, super cute. Next to the uh, chair swing ride, Swings of the Century. And near Time Warp, it's located right here. Definitely worth checking out. Um... I think it's absolutely uh, amazing and a bit of a hidden gem. Um, and sorry, I'm like kind of I'm like seeing my footage shake right now, and I'm just like, wait, why is it shaking? Um, but yeah, I'll figure that out after this video. But nonetheless, super cool. Definitely wanted to give people this suggestion. There's also another cool place by Backlot Cafe across from Flight Deck. Lots of open seating there as well. So if you're looking for somewhere to eat, these two places are definitely places you should check out if seating isn't available elsewhere. There are places to sit. Unfortunately, there's no restaurants absolutely near them or close to them, but if you want to walk um, and explore, there's definitely areas for you to sit as a group. So definitely check this out. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, we're the only ones sitting and eating here. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you quick tips and updates on food and beverage because that seems to be a lot of people's negative experience at Canada's Wonderland. And uh, there's definitely ways around it. So one, everyone eats at the same time. So maybe work that into your plan. Two, there are places to sit um, and eat as a family. You just got to maybe walk a little bit. Um, and three, there are... Uh, <laughs> Again, ways around the long lines. You just got to look for the restaurant. Shop around. Don't maybe go to the first restaurant you see. There's Pizza Pizza in Kidsville if you don't want to wait in the long lines at Pizza Pizza. Um, and yeah, again, just remember that Wonderland has had a staffing issue like every business. And um, be patient, please. If I could ask any of my subscribers that are watching this video, as frustrating as it may get, and I am not pointing my finger at you, there are times where I'm definitely in a drive through line and I get frustrated because, you know, you're sitting there waiting, taking a step back and just reminding ourselves that these are human beings working at these restaurants and at this park. These are... Um, ride ops that are just doing their job, restaurant people just doing their job, and things will get better. Staffing is getting better uh, in Canada and Ontario. Just give it some time. Anyways, thanks so much. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns that I did not answer in this video, comment down below, and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and thanks so much for partaking in our giveaway. Have a good one. Bye.